Our biggest update yet again, introducing shipping and fulfillment into Shirtcart. Yes, this means that now when you sell your products, you can offer different shipping methods with rates associated. And then after that order is placed, you can track the different fulfillment statuses for that order. It's beautiful, easy to set up. We've already released dedicated videos on both of them, but let's go ahead and take a quick look at it right now by placing a test order. Shirtcart generates a beautiful product grid like this. Let's go ahead and click into this product and also Shirtcart generates fully customizable product pages like this. So I'm going to go ahead and add this product to the cart and I'm going to click this button here to go to the checkout. And what you'll see right here is a list of shipping methods that I've already set up and I've added shipping rates based upon the country that I'm shipping to. So your buyer can choose any of the ones that you make available, the methods. Also over here on the right, you can see there's inside of the order summary, there's a shipping line item. It says shipping and right here it has the shipping amount. So if I want to switch this to express, I can choose express and now it's changed and automatically been added to the order for me. Now where the shipping choices appear, you can customize that and put that wherever you want. This text string you can customize. All of the little text labels here, you can make it say what you want as well as the shipping line item. You can make that say whatever you want it to say. So I'm going to go ahead and place this order. Okay, I have it all filled out. I have this set up as cash on delivery. Let's click this button, uh, place the order and we get this right here. I'll click on continue and it takes me as the buyer to my list of orders right here and you can see I've been testing this. Uh, we see a couple prior orders right here that have been paid and shipped, paid and delivered. And this is my new order as a customer. I see that it's been received, it's processing, it's not shipped yet. So here's a prior order that shipped. And when I click into it, I can look and I can see the, the status as the customer. I can even see the tracking number and there's also a tracking link and just a recap of what I actually ordered. So there's this sync between the order status and the fulfillment process that the merchant goes through as well as what the customer sees. So now let's go ahead and let me show you the order fulfillment side of this. Let's go to my list of orders. So it's under shirt cart and then orders right here. And you can see I have a list of orders and what we've added is two new things here. We've added a fulfillment column as well as a shipping column. Now you might be saying I don't fulfill, ship, all that kind of stuff. Don't worry. We have this option added here, screen options. You can click on this and you can hide whatever you don't want to see in the list view. But by default, you'll see fulfillment and shipping. So if you're not shipping or fulfilling, you can hide these and you'll never see them again. So you have this screen option. And we've also added filters. So you can filter out this list of orders based upon fulfillment or shipping. We have fulfillment statuses here, unfulfilled fulfilled, fulfilled, partially fulfilled, as well as shipping statuses, not shipped, shipped, partially shipped, as well as delivered. So let's go ahead and take a look at one of the fulfilled orders. And when I click into it, you can see it's got a beautiful interface here, fulfilled check marks when it was fulfilled, the tracking number, what was shipped as well as down here, what was paid for the shipping. We've got the address all the information is right here. Now for this order, let's go ahead and fulfill it. This means we're printing the label, we're putting it in the box, we're getting this thing ready to go. All I have to do is click on fulfill items. I can optionally add a tracking number and a tracking link if I want. I can also modify the quantity if someone's purchased more than one, if I wanted to ship them in separate orders, partially fulfill, I can do that. Or if there was multiple products and I'm only gonna ship a couple at a time for whatever reason, maybe different warehouses, I can have it split and be partially fulfilled. But I'm just gonna fulfill this item right here. I'll click on fulfill item and you can see now this the fulfillment has changed right here to say fulfilled fulfilled and if I'm now going to ship it I can change it to shipped 
and pretty much this order is good to go. Oh, it's cash on delivery. Let me mark that as paid. All right, and now when I go back to my orders view, you can see there it is. Uh, the status of the fulfillment has changed and the shipping status has changed as well. If I go here now as the customer refresh, you're gonna see, I now see it's been paid and shipped. Remember this order, we didn't add a tracking number, so there isn't one to show, but the prior orders here, I did add a tracking number. You can click in and it shows it right there. So now let's take a look at the shipping options as they appear, and we have a full video on this, but it's underneath settings, and then the shipping option right here first, out of the box, this will not be enabled, so you'll need to come here and click on the enable option right there. And here's the shipping methods. You can have the methods that are appropriate to your part of the world or the way that you ship. You can have these be whatever you want. Uh, these are what's gonna come out of the box, but you can click the three dots, click on edit, and you can change the name. So if I wanted to name this FedEx overnight, I could do that. If I wanted to name this local pickup, I could do that as well, as well as put the description in. So I have those options. Once you have the shipping methods that you actually ship, you'll go and edit your shipping profile or create a custom profile. So I'll click on general and you can see this is all the products that are in this shipping profile. New products are all added here by default. You basically choose the shipping zone. This is where you're going to ship to. You can see I have something set up here for Mexico and a different one set up here for the United States and Canada. And then how much do you need to charge to ship products based upon the shipping method to that zone? So you can see I set it all up here for the United States. Uh, in Mexico, I only set up one. So you can do some pretty intricate things. Let me show you something else you can do. Let me click on add rate and I'll choose a shipping method. I can really do some interesting things here uh, with the options. So there's the flat rate shipping, there's shipping based on item weight, and there's shipping based on the order price. That would be mostly used if you want to offer free shipping if the order's over 100 bucks or 200 bucks or something along those lines. So make sure to check out the full video that covers the shipping. But let me uh, show you how you can customize the checkout page really quick. So I'm going to go to my checkout page. Here it is, store checkout. Now, I always like to expand everything out right here uh, in list view. I've got my columns. And you can see here is a checkout component called shipping choices. Now, if you're upgrading to this version of Sharecart, that's probably not going to be there. You'll need to manually add it. We'll automatically make it show, but if you want to have control over the text label that said shipping or uh, where it's positioned, you might want to add this block in there. Uh, it's fully covered in the shipping video. But when I click on it, I can change the label here on the right. If I didn't want to show the shipping method description, I can toggle this. As well as in the order summary, let's expand that. It's called totals. Here it is, shipping line item. And you can see for that, I can also change the label that displays there. So for your store, if you're going to be selling products that need to be shipped and fulfilled and all of that, I'd encourage you to watch the videos that we have created, one specifically on shipping, another one specifically on product fulfillment. Now in our premium plans, we'll be adding some real-time integrations with some of the most popular shipping services. So so manually changing of statuses you won't need to do in the case that you're using one of those shipping services or setting up all of the shipping for your products. Now, there's also one more change I want to show you. I'm always driving the team to make Surecart easier and easier and easier to use. And so we have have a little change to our settings and how the settings are laid out. So what was happening before was there was multiple settings panels you need to go to to put important information in for your store and we've consolidated that. So let me show you. I'm gonna go to Surecart and I'll click right here where it says settings and the first tab says store settings and we put all of the 
important settings for your store before you can go live. These are the pieces of information you need to add. We've added it all right here on a single screen. So now it you're you were used to seeing the store details here, but we've also added to this block of settings right here where you could put a link to your terms of service and your privacy policy. So that's important. And then when you scroll down the notification settings, so this would be the sender name for emails that go out and the reply to email address. And then we've added the block here for putting your name, phone number, website, and address for can spam compliance. This needs to be appended to the bottom of emails that get sent out from your store. So we've gone ahead and added this as well. So all of the crucial bits of data that you need to launch your store and, and start doing it the right way, we've all we've added it all to this store settings screen right here. And also notification settings. Uh, this used to be over here where it says notifications and it's still there because it's very important, uh, but it will sync. So if I put right here, I type Adam and I click on save and I go back to store settings and I scroll down, you can see it. it's the same right here. So it's kept in sync, but we just wanna make sure that you get all the, the right bits of data in there for compliance for your store. Shortcart Now is the fastest growing alternative to WooCommerce and we're gonna keep pushing, pushing, pushing to deliver all the features you need to create complete stores using Shortcart. But we also have something cool that we're working on that we're gonna be able to start making available to you this month, and that is migrating away from WooCommerce. So we will be able to make it for you so that you can migrate a lot of the heavy lifting. So this would be, you can move over your list of products. You can move over your list of customers. You can move over subscriptions that might be active subscriptions using WooCommerce subscriptions. You'll be able to migrate that as well. Uh, we've done it very, very cleverly. There's a test mode, so you'll be able to uh, initiate the migration, check all the data to see if it is how you expect it uh, before you do the final cut over. And then you can, uh, as long as everything looks good, then you could do a final sync and make it go live. We want to make it as easy as possible. Like I said, uh, it's going to do a lot of the heavy lifting and then you'll just tweak your product pages, tweak your checkout pages, make sure it meets all of your requirements. This is coming and this is a tool that we're going to make, make available to you. And I think we are, considering some kind of a more of a white glove service possibly for some of the premium plans to make it easy to switch from WooCommerce. We don't switch your payment gateways though. Uh, we don't switch your shipping methods. So it's going to get you probably like 70, 75% of the work that needs to be done to switch. It's going to do it for you automatically. You'll just go in, pop in your bits of information, your payment gateway, your shipping methods, tweak your product page, and you should be on your way to moving away from WooCommerce and moving over to Shortcart. We would love to have all of your stores powered by Shortcart. Hey, let me know what you think about this update. I know this was a big one. Let me know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting Shortcart, and we'll see you in the next update video.